all right YouTube we're back at it again back inside the shop um, I just wanted to do a quick review on a, actually a quick toolbox tour um, before we even get into any of this or whatever it may be I just wanted to let you guys know my box is suit this big box is actually super empty right now um, my everyday tools only go in the orange box and tools I use every now and then goes inside the big box simply because I haven't been here for 20 years. A lot of those other guys is like uh, top drawer, tap, top drawer um, video, whatever it may be. The box is full and all this other crap. It'll get there, okay? But um, I'm by all means, again, I'm no A-level tech. I'm actually a B-level tech, entry-level tech. Not GS, but B-level tech. So, quick heads up. Don't expect anything crazy because it's not happening but anyways we'll go ahead and jump right into that got my snap-on glasses safety glasses it's the end of the day so we're not wearing those right now i'm tired of wearing them after 10 hours today cars i gotta pull in tripod for my camera camera phone keys lunch shout out to lunch top drawer go ahead and get right into it super empty uh my breaker bar I do use this quite often, but not often as I would like to use it because I'll impact anything that I need to get off with a breaker bar. I mean, save time, make money. It is what it is. Blow gun. Everybody needs a blow gun. Uh, these long torque spits. Volkswagen especially. Believe it or not, over here in the villages, a lot of European cars, you know what it is. So, three extensions, quarter inch extensions. A lot of people borrow tools and don't return them. Not at this specific shop, but at shops they do do that. Beware, because you will borrow your own tools back from someone you lent them out to. Keep an eye on that. Quarter inch ratchet, you guys seen this in the video. Ah, seen on TV. It's my little baby. Three eighths extent, um, ratchet, half inch ratchet. Stanley, quarter inch long neck Cornwell ratchet. Trim tool, long corn with trim tools, short one, long picks. I love the hell out of these things. These things are super sturdy. They don't slip out of their handles like these short ones. That's why I only got two. They freaking break too easy. I'm not using them as pry bars, believe it or not, but yeah, they freaking break. You can see this one's actually at an angle. It's crazy. They don't last, but these ones last. I love them. I've got a few. Um, files here rat tail file this is a punch only bought one because I needed it that day I didn't need to set couldn't afford to set it right at that moment and uh, it is what it is I'm actually looking forward to getting the whole set this pickup tool I almost forgot dropping that 10 millimeter in the bay engine bay reach right in there and grab it pick it up snap it out it's a cool tool super empty drawer that's probably my ratchet drawer, not my ratchet drawer, my uh, wrench drawer, all my uh, pliers and all that other good stuff, hose clamp pliers, the Nipex Cobras, got it from Cornwall, um, hose clamp pliers, again, 45 degrees, short ones, just in case I can't get those in there, here's these flare nut wrenches when I'm replacing calipers or doing uh, brake bleeding with a flex head, super cool, got a whole set of them, they were actually relatively cheap, got them from Matco. Go down the drawer. 14.4 snap on um, charger, stream light charger, stream light, super bright. It's got the mini stream light. It's actually super bright too. It's actually dead, but I charge it up. Portable charger. This whole drawer has actually got a power strip in it. It got five of the uh, wall chargers and two USBs. Super handy. This is gonna be like assorted stuff, like uh, hose clamps and O-rings and stuff. Um, I did a rack and pinion not too long ago, and it actually did not come with O-rings. So I actually had to go buy some because I needed them faster than our guy could get, get here. And um, now I won't have to worry about that anymore because I got them right here in the box. Microfiber rag for cleaning this little baby. Bottom drawer, keep my laptop case in here and my spill free funnel. Everybody needs a spill free funnel if you're introducing air into the coolant system. Cooling system. Come into this drawer, this one's actually pretty full. 
I got the uh, micrometer back here. I got some um, zip ties back here. This is my um, impact screwdriver. Breaking free those uh, screws on the rotors. I do brake jobs quite often, so this is a really good investment. Um, that number three, man. That number three. But uh, yeah, it's awesome. Love it. Six piece spark plug. It's magnetic. So I ain't got to worry about sticking a magnet in there. Getting them out. Excellent, excellent, excellent set. This is the uh, serpentine belt removal tool. I need to go get the installation tool because I've been struggling with that last belt job I did with just my hands. But um, it comes as a whole set. You got your long bar yeah, and all the pieces you need to get that belt off. Made by Gear Wrench. Uh, Blue Point. I got this when I bought the uh, the new snap-on drill. I'll show you guys in a second when I get to that drawer. Came free when I bought the drill. Got the whole bit set. It's pretty dope. Cornwell. Cornwell Allen key set. I beat the hell out of these. Next drawer. Snap-on drawer. Super empty because snap-on is expensive, but you get what you pay for. These things are for, uh, I mean, come on. These are everything to me. Quarter-inch ratchet. Got the 14.4 battery, two of those. Yeah, this is just a necessity, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. The uh, This is the drill I got, and when I told you I got that bit set, I need to get the 3 8 one. The 3 8 is where it's at. Everybody loves that thing, and I love it because I tested, tested it one time. Uh, this is the short light. Can't really see all that well. So, got this. It's done its job fairly well. Can't complain. Next drawer down. This is really um, my brake drawer. Got some um, caliper grease. These are uh, some rifle brushes. Cleaning up the slide pinholes. Long wire brush. That's a good investment when you're cleaning those calipers off and getting all that rust off and you're putting new hardware on or leaving the hardware on, whatever you do, wire brush. You need it. Um, here's some drum brake tools, hose clamps, placing calipers so you don't get um, brake fluid everywhere. This is um, the caliper piston compression tool, not compression tool, compressor tool depressor tool, whatever you want to call it. It ratchets, it pushes the piston in, it does its freaking job, but it's what it is. This is the set that you use when you gotta spin the, um, spin the caliper back in. Instead of just pushing them back in, you actually gotta spin the piston back into the caliper. This is the set you would need. I got the complete set. These are, these sets are super cheap, and if you're gonna start doing brakes, you need it because you're gonna find just as much of these pistons as you are these. Unless you work at a specified dealership. This is gonna be my electrical drawer. I'm actually looking at getting a few things from Snap-on because if I'm gonna get some diagnostic tools, I prefer to get my money's worth out of them. I'm not gonna get no freaking $16,000 Snap-on scanner, but uh, <laughs> you know, just a little something. That thermal, Im thermal imager, is uh, actually pretty legit. I think it's worth his money, but I don't think I have enough jobs that need that just yet, so, but it's coming. Believe me. I uh, got a torch down here. I got the uh, Steelman five-piece wheel lock removal kit because, um, believe it or not, GS or tech, I'm not leaving it just with the GSs. You're spinning these freaking wheel locks off with impact guns. Click on a lot of wheel locks on new cars. It has an impact gun with an extra. You're not supposed to take off wheel locks and impact guns. I know a lot of you guys know it. As long as it doesn't look like it's stripped, we're going to use it. I still use it. I still impact wheel locks off. But every now and then you get a bad wheel lock. It strips out. Your manager's pissed off now. And Quentin comes to the rescue. This actually isn't a bad set. This is the regular one that slides on. With, you beat them on with a hammer. And... Uh, Use a breaker bar to spin them off. And use your little punch to get the wheel lock out of the set. But a tur the uh, turbo sockets are really better than this set, to be honest. Turbo sockets will get that off way better. Torch. 
start from the bottom this time. Feeling a little different. Got my clothes down here, my slides, different shoes. This is the junk drawer. Spark plugs, all that other good stuff. A couple pair of bearings that are wrong, they didn't want back, so I said I'll just keep them just in case. I mean, just a junk drawer, everybody got one. Again. That wheel lock strips out, where's the wheel lock for it? I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Wheel lock, I'm telling you man, you strip it out. It um, doesn't have the sign on it, but uh, you strip them out with that impact gun and then you gotta use the set to get it off. I used a turbo socket to get that, uh, get this off. You can see the bite marks all around it. Next drawer, this is the tool junk drawer that doesn't have specific places. Tape measure, cube on in case somebody breaks something. In case I break anything, whatever it may be, I can probably try to fix it, try to save it. Terminal cleaner from uh, Harbor Freight. Side terminal tool. That's a good tool, especially when they're in the wheel wells. Wiper arm removal tool, and this is also a terminal tool. I need to clean it because it got corrosion everywhere. Terminals get kind of picky. Fuel filter tool. This is my catalog tool. Just in case I see something. That new Revel X box is cool, but uh, I don't need that box. Uh, this is just my uh, paperwork drawer. Um, I write down all my ROs and all my WOs, whatever you guys want to call it, work orders, numbers. Though that way at the end of the week I can track um, make sure I'm getting paid my jobs because when you got six or more technicians in the same shop and it's chaotic and you know what it is, you want to make sure you're getting your money because accidents do happen. Everybody's human. I want to make sure I'm getting my money worth. Top drawer. This is my personal drawer. I got money, pinky ring, all that other good stuff. This is my first pair of safety glasses that a guy named Justin gave me. I never could remember his name, so I called him Steve, and he started answering, so Steve. All that other good stuff. Keep my wallet and stuff in there. And that's the first box, guys. Come back to this one. She looks a lot different than the first day, eh? <laughs> Got my first, first alignment on here, back at Firestone. It was way out. I brought it back in. I had a tech help me, actually. His name was Scotty. He was real good to me. Taught me a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, but uh, you can see I, did, I didn't do too bad for my first alignment, you know? Well, magnet tray up here, half inch long sockets, half inch short sockets. I got my uh, quarter inch long sockets for doing batteries and stuff. I got a 10 uh, 3 8 magnetic 10 3 8 This is my quarter inch adapter to 3 8 um, Half inch swivel, half inch universal. Uh, these are my oil filter sockets, uh, 17 all the way down to the 10. Yeah, they, uh, I use, usually do my oil changer with these sockets. I got a few long ones because I lose the short ones. Um, quarter inch, short ones. And everything's SAE. Um, I got my um, screwdrivers right here. Like I was saying guys, um, I got the snap-on screwdriver set short all the way down to the uh, long half inch, um, half inch, what am I talking about? Long uh, flathead. It didn't come with a 3 8 so I just went and got a, um, um, a number three Phillips because it didn't come with it. Um, got a few miscellaneous stuff right here. Got the uh, tire, um, valve core removal tool. This is like a little mini knife. Tray depth gauge. Magnet. Tire chalk. Few nails I pulled out, screws I pulled out today. Glove. Gotta love these gloves though. They're pretty dope. They're not puncture proof. They freaking suck when it comes to working with all the small stuff. But they're not bad. They last me about a day. But they're expensive. Get what you pay for. Uh, half inch extension. Super short. Um, a few axle nut sockets. I only buy them as I need them because I don't do too much axle work. Because not too much axle work actually comes in. But I get them as I need them, as you can see. Um, this is my little baby right here. These air pressure checks, these air guns. We get a lot of air pressure checks over here in the villages, and I tell you, it's necessary to have that. Um, 
few pry bars, macro pry bars. I only got the four set. Don't need too much. It's not super long, but it gets me by checking bearings and all that other good stuff. Prying CV axles out. No, I can't get it back because you guys wanted to freaking see. Just kidding. First drawer. Everyday tools, guys. Like I said, I use all these tools every day, all day. Half inch impact gun. Got the Cornwell gun. This is the first gun I bought about a year ago. Still here today. Not bad. Uh, mini vice grips. Channel lock pliers. Need these for doing alignments when you don't feel like going to find the right wrench. She's here. Um, these are my um, torque sticks. This is uh, 80 foot pounds, that's 100 foot pounds. Uh, oil change ratchet. Super long, 3 8 Oil change all day. Oil filter pliers. This is another oil filter tool that if I can't get to it with this, I'll just use these. Super inexpensive, super handy. Get you through it. Uh, these are my thin wall sockets that I use when you get those certain Playboy rims. I got the set here to get them off without damaging the rim. Comes with the... Uh, Adaptive, the uh, half inch extension, 1921 flip socket, them all, uh, three quarter, three sixteenth flip socket, and this is my uh, seven eighths, fifteen sixteenths. It's a fucking 22 to me. I only use one side, it's a 22. That's what it is. Snap on plier set. Same guy that talked me into getting, um, getting that, uh, Getting this box off the truck a year ago, Scotty, my first mentor. Same guy that talked me into getting these. You do need them, man. You need them. I use them every day. You don't want to buy cheap plugs because when they mess up, the guarantee the tool guy won't be there that day. You won't be able to leave to go to the store to get another pair. Good quality will last you longer. You don't have to worry about it. They pay for themselves. All tools do. Second drawer ratcheting wrenches. You need these, man, because with these regular wrenches in this set right here, you're going to get in a tight spot. You're not going to be able to move that nut how you want to. Your arm's going to get tired. You're losing money because you're moving slow. Get the good stuff, man. Just go ahead and get it. Sit there. Ratchet that thing off. Boom. If you can't put a socket on it, you can't put a um, whatever it may be on it, get the ratcheting wrench. With the flex, flex head, whatever it may be, even if it's just the regular ones that don't flex. Ratcheting wrenches. Ratchets. Um, wrenches are the new way to go. I got the extra long ones. They double flex. You know what I mean? Do some of my uh, brake jobs with them. Can't go wrong. Sometimes I do oil changes with them. Depends on how the drain plug wants to be with me. Third drawer. Got a 40 ounce hammer here. It beats the hell out of rotors and whatever it doesn't want to come off. Torque freaking video, damn video cut off on me, guys. Anyways, got my torque stick. This is horrible because it has a 90, it's not ratcheting. You want to get the ratcheting one, you'll save yourself a lot of time. This is just a cheap one. I needed one, got one. I'm actually going to upgrade it, trade it in, and get a better one. These are the uh, manufacturer specified uh, oil filter adapters that go with my oil filter buddy back there. Um, sometimes you need it, dude. You need it because you'll make a freaking mess. Um, I got some liquids down here. I got the uh, battery cleaner, if you can see it back there. Uh, throttle body cleaner, PB blaster, brake clean. Got an extra hat down here because I like wearing hats. I don't cut my hair often. I'm trying to save money here. Snap on bag. And that's the end of the tour, guys. So, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Always look out for more videos. Turn those notifications on so you know when I'm hitting the YouTube. And uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.